Got an ice machine that's not working worth the crap. And it's really, really far away from the rack. It's on a rack, so. I lied, it's not on the rack. I, I was wrong. This one's a self-contained, this one's different. I was wrong. All right, I get to do something. So you got this messed up ice pattern. It was a little bigger because I, I've already knocked some of it off. But look at the ice, it's weird. weird ice pattern and so this thing's just running and running and running and the weird thing is, is that the compressor is sweating on the top and the discharge line is not very hot hot enough to where I can touch it and what else was there all right so I'm gonna get my gauges and hook up to that and see if we're running reasonable pressures and I'm gonna go ahead and try to wash this off I guess So yeah, I spent a little bit of time cleaning the condenser, but that's not really where the problem is on this call. So I'm kind of just going to skip over this that I did here. Y'all just check out how filthy the back of the curtain is. More lime Kool-Aid powder. Okay. So, we're going we're gonna to gauge up this and see what it's doing. And I sit there and just wait and wait and wait. So, the first part of any ice machine cycle is the water fill cycle. So even though it's full of water, it doesn't know that because this cheap ass machine doesn't have any sensors on it. Now this thing takes 57 ounces of 404 ah. Probably gonna have about a one minute water fill. And we'll see what it does. So this thing here is pretty cool. It maintains balance. It's a perfect little balancer of water level. Looks like it's doing a dump. <laughs> that sounded nasty. Sorry, guys. It's going through a dump cycle. It's about to start here in a minute. Okay, now this thing's been running for a minute or so, and something I noticed is that this thing's not really filling it up with water. So. He will assist it. Now, I have a feeling this thing needs more refrigerant. Just have that feeling. So 
Because look at that. So, if the inside of the valve is messed up. So when you drop it, when you drop the float, it starts to fill. But then when you go, then when you go beyond the, the intended opening, if you go further, you can actually close the valve instead of letting it stay open. Ain't that stupid? I'll look at it now and access it. So before ice starts forming, you actually have to hit 33 degrees. Interesting, huh? This bitch ain't getting really much below down below 37. Oh god, where's all the water going? Is it going to ice? Let's see. Oh, it's going to ice. Wow. Ooh, we got ice. Holy cheap chip. So, in case you didn't know, it goes into defrost, and then it doesn't come out of defrost until that switch turns off and on. It does that by the door opening and closing, in case you didn't know. But it's supposed to make a nice, even sheet of ice. That way it all slides off together. Pushes the curtain open and activates the switch. In this case, it's not heavy enough. The sheet of ice is not heavy enough to make itself slide off. It cannot slide its own load off. So sometimes the cubes end up melting completely and coming apart. They end up melting completely and coming apart inside the uh, cubicles, cubicles. And then it's just a failed harvest. Like that. See? Failed hearts. The only reason it's staying in harvest this long is because it's not activated the switch yet. We can pull it and do this. And that makes you think that it went into harvest. Or that it dropped the load of ice. And it goes back into freeze mode. But this is a failed harvest. And so that's all I got for day one on this. Uh, job that I'm working on this ice machine, but I'm coming back tomorrow and I'm gonna dive into it some more We got some water filters that we find are messed up. We got an evaporator coil that's leaking low on refrigerant We charge it up. It does better. So tune in for that. Thanks for watching